So today was another hotel day. We're headed to the ferry in just a little bit, but we just finished packing the car and now we are going to go sample a good old proper Irish breakfast. We're told it's really good, so we'll see. Fresh fruit there for Becca. Good job. I tried to get a little bit of everything. I coffee messed up my stewed tomato, but breakfast. coffee is coffee breakfast. Does yeah, I'm curious what that one is. That one's interesting. I've seen that on all the pictures. The black sausage was blood sausage, and we all tried it, but none of us really liked it that much. We found three of the Elmer elephants that were all around the downtown of Belfast, and they were really a neat display that was being done to raise money for the children's hospice. The kids had fun posing with Elmer, and just down from our hotel was this really cool sound feature and here was a quote from C.S. Lewis and there I heard more tunable in the song of any bird a thousand hammers ringing in the morn a thousand hammers ringing all for joy this is from his book of ships collection of poems and his grandfather actually owned a shipyard in the Belfast area the way this works is as children run around the chimes make the sound of the shipyard We made it to C.S. Lewis Square, just happened upon it. C.S. Lewis was born in Belfast. C.S. Lewis Square is about a mile from Titanic. It's in Ulster, which is where he grew up. And it's a very neat tribute to a man who had a lasting impact on the place he was born. You can see some of these statues. There are the beavers and then around to the right is the largest statue. It is the statue of Aslan the lion, a prominent figure in his book. Here's the white witch, and arguably the most beloved Mr. Tumnus. Then you walk down to the square a little farther and you see a rendition of C.S. Lewis as it looks like he is getting into the wardrobe. So we had a lot of fun looking at all of this and was heartwarming to see how much of a difference he made. However, it's time to get on the road again. This time we are headed to the ferry. The drive from Belfast to Larn took about 45 minutes. Okay, so we're waiting on our ferry. This is, what number ferry, David? Yeah, it's our third ferry. Thank you. Um, and we're gonna have some lunch before we get on the ferry while we're waiting here. Supposed to check in 45 minutes beforehand. Uh, and so we're here an hour early and we're just gonna wait because it's just a small port. It's not a big one like Dover and Calais. Um, it's pretty small, just like the one over by Rossler. So it's gonna be fun. We could have chosen to use the port at Belfast, but the Larne ferry was leaving so much earlier than Belfast, so I made the decision to drive the 45 minutes in order to be able to get to Scotland earlier to get to our Airbnb. This ferry from Larne, Northern Ireland to Cairn Ryan, Scotland took about two hours. It was very beautiful. It was definitely much shorter than the Irish ferry that we took, and we enjoyed getting to go out onto the deck. The ferry passage across from Lair, Northern Ireland to Cairnryan, Scotland took us about two hours and then we got to drive along the coastline for quite a while. It was absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I kind of nicknamed it the Amalfi Coast of Scotland because it reminded me of the time that we went on vacation down to Rome and got to drive on the Amalfi Coast for a little bit. It was absolutely stunning. Well, we made it to Scotland and this gorgeous view as we drive is amazing. Uh, we're headed around a little bit to, um, uh, we're headed over near Edinburgh and we're going to be staying over there. So just
just such beautiful countryside that we wanted to show everybody. As we kept going, there were actually a lot of places to pull off. So we pulled off and walked down to the beach, let the kids play in the water, and got to walk around, look for shells. It was really nice. And then a very unexpected turn of events, we saw signs for the Robert Burns Museum. So we decided to stop there and Rebecca had a treat for us. We're so thankful for all that the kids are learning in their schooling. And as we kept driving down the road, we actually passed the Kelpies. It's part of a Scottish folklore, the Kelpies in the water. Uh, you want to look that up. It's quite fun. But these are some really cool features right alongside the road. So we had to stop and check it out. So we were on M9 and we drove by the Kelpies and had to stop for a quick picture. These are the largest equine statues in the world and um, they are 30 meters tall so it's about 90 feet. So I found an awesome playground over near the Kelpies that the kids are really loving. There's even a man-made lake on the other side. This would be a good place to spend part of a day. I know my kids would be totally fine with playing here all day. This playground reminded us a lot of the playgrounds that we loved in Germany. This one feature was especially fun. They could pretend that they were rowing a giant ship on the high seas. We arrived later than we wanted at our Airbnb, but it was definitely worth it. Tomorrow we're driving through the highlands to Loch Ness. Marschen lieben Draste.